Assalamu alaikum dear students in previous uh, lecture we discussed the concept of sequence and corresponding series now today we we shall discuss you know the spatial sequence that is the arithmetic sequence or simply the arithmetic progression or simply ap a sequence if we have a sequence a1 with term first term as a1 a2 a3 so on to an with infinite many terms then this sequence is called ap if a n plus 1 equals to a n plus d that is for every term a n plus 1 that term equals to you know the previous term plus some constant that is d where n belongs to this natural number where n is natural number or simply we can write that a n plus 1 minus a n equals to d so this means that difference of any two consecutive terms is same throughout then we say that this sequence is in ap sequence or this sequence is arithmetic progression here a1 is the first here a1 is called as the first term of the sequence and d is called as the common difference now we in standard form if a is the first term and d is the common difference then we can write this ap as in standard form as a a plus a d is the second term a plus 2 d is the third term or so on to a plus n minus 1 d is the nth term or simply we can write a n or the general term of this sequence a p whose first term is a and d is the common difference as a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the general term or the nth term of this a p whose first term is a and this common difference is d like if we have a sequence 5 10 15 so on to here first term is the this uh, pio common difference means second minus third second minus first term third minus second term that is difference of two consecutive terms it is 10 minus 5 5 15 minus 10 pio so difference is same throughout Hence, this D is same, that is D is 5, which implies that this very sequence is AP sequence. Remember one thing, if we add, subtract, multiply or divide any constant, that is for, divide, for division, we should consider, you know, the this non-zero term, this uh, constant. To each and every term of AP, like here we have 5, 10, 15, 20, so on, and if we divide each and every term of this sequence by 5 like and uh, we get 1 2 3 4 so and so forth then the resulting uh, resultant sequence that is 1 after dividing or after subtracting or after adding or multiplying the resultant sequence is also in AP that is is also arithmetic progression so this means that addition subtraction multiplication and division does not alter the behavior of the arithmetic sequence does not uh, alter the behavior of arithmetic sequence that is resultant sequence also is in AP how to find the sum of n terms of this arithmetic progression we know that the standard form of this AP is a whose first term is a and common difference is d is a a plus d a plus 2d up to a plus n minus 1d let s n denotes the sum of n terms that is we have to sum of first terms that is a1 to a n a1 is a a2 is a plus d a3 is a plus 2d so on to a plus n minus 1 into d here we have n a's that is we will take them out n a's a plus a plus up to n times and we have d plus 2d up to n minus 1d this became as n a because sum of n a n times a equals to n a and here take d common we get 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1 we know that sum of first n terms is or sum of first n integers is n into n plus 1 by 2 which implies that sum of first n minus 1 integers is n into n minus 1 by 2 into d here take this two common and n common it is n by 2 2a because 2 2 will cancel we will get n a plus n minus 1 into d so if we know n number of terms if we know the first term if we know the common difference that is d we can find you know the sum of first that term that is first n terms of this sequence which is n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d similarly if we here this 2a can be written as 
a plus a 2a equals to a plus a n minus 1 into d now a plus n minus 1 into d this is the nth term of this ap which implies that if we only know you know this uh, first term and number of terms and the last term we can find you know the sum as n by 2 a plus a n where a n is the last term or you can also put l equals to last term hence in terms of a and a n sum of first n terms of this ap is n by 2 into a plus a n like if we consider this very problem find the sum of first odd numbers from 1 to 2001 here first term is 1 because first odd number is 1 common difference is 2 because difference between any two consecutive odd numbers is 2 like 5 minus 3 is 2 7 minus 5 is 2 9 minus 7 is 2 so d is 2 and the last odd number here is 2201 this means that a n is 222001 but we know that nth term with a and d as first and common difference respectively is given by a plus n minus 1 into d equals to 2001 a is 1 d is 2 this means that from this we can find n hence n equals to 1001 1001 this means that from 1 to 2001, uh, there are 1001 odd numbers between 1 and 2001. From 1 to 2001. Hence, its sum is Sn equals to either n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d, or n by 2a plus a n. n is 1001 by 2. 2a is here 1, that is 2 into 1. n minus 1 d is thousand that is one zero zero one minus one that is thousand into two or in terms of this a and a n we can find this sum as one zero zero one upon two into one plus two zero zero one so after simplifying both these two this and this we will get uh, one zero zero two zero zero one or one zero zero two zero zero one hence in this way sum of first n sum of the odd numbers from one to two zero zero one is one zero zero two zero zero one or one zero zero two zero zero one so in this way we find the sum of first this uh, odd numbers from 1 to 2001 so inshallah in tomorrow's video lecture we will discuss you know the arithmetic mean how we find the arithmetic mean between the two numbers so thank you